Yeah, this is Tiffo from CashCows.net. Coming to you again. About to go to an exclusive event. But before I do, I just want to introduce you to the new Cash Cow, Patrick Sims. Now, baby, you mean a lot to me. But are you really good for me? I'd give you everything I got. But in return, do the same. You are the, the only chick I've loved. But you ain't never loved me back I'm trying, but I just can't move on like that Over and over I'm giving all of me But this ain't mutually Over and over I try to move on But you got all of me In my mind I know something ain't right But I'm found to play What's up, Cash Cows? I'm Ned. I'm Patrick Sims. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm a singer, songwriter, slash producer. I wrote and co produced all of my songs. I have an EP that will be released in mid to late February 2009. You can listen to my music and check me out, read my bio and things that are going on with me and my career and moves that I'm making right now. MySpace.com backslash P S I M S music. You can also check out my online portfolio at SonicBiz.com backslash Patrick Sims. Well, to me, a cash cow is somebody or something that is really doing what they have to do with the day. Um, out there making moves, on the grind, on the hustle, and doing what they have to do in order to make it and whatever it is they're trying to make it up. And I feel like I'm a cash cow because, yes, I have goals. Number one, I'm African American. Who you know, is about my shit and doing what I have to do in order to become better. So when you see me, you see the As an artist, not just as an R&B artist, I plan to achieve a lot. Well, not more so just in the aspect of music, but in everything that is related to the entertainment industry as a whole. Whether it is fashion, music, producing, I can't make no tracks, but you know, I can put your company together and I can write for you, like all of those different things. I want to have my hand on everything at one time. Like, I don't ever want to like sit still and never get that chance to go. My music is truly the experiences that I've been through from young ages to like now. And so I feel that if I can go through this at age, 15 or 16. I'm sure there's some other 16 year old boy or even some 16 year old girl who has gone through the same things that I've gone through. So that's the main reason for music and, and art in general. Whether it's a picture on the wall, or whether it's a poem you're reading, or whether it's a song you're listening to, somebody's going to get something out of that. And that's the whole meaning of why we're doing that art. It's to capture somebody and to get their attention and for them to be one with whatever that piece of art is. So with my music and with my songs, like I want to touch everybody that I can touch. It's like an array of stuff from Coldplay to the Beatles to T.I. to Kanye. Um, I don't have any Lil Wayne. Sorry to all you Lil Wayne fans, but I love Lil Wayne, but it's just not my fault right now. Um, yeah, it's like that. To be the greatest musician and artist, most importantly of all times, are Michael Jackson. Prince, the Beatles, I'll even say Madonna, and even nowadays you have your Beyonce's and your Jay-Z's, and to me it's because those are true artists who would go to the studio and really did not care. They express themselves as artists with no stipulations at all. They truly dug deep into themselves and created this beautiful music for everybody of all races, of all cultures, of the cultures of all size of the spectrum and I think that those are people, especially Prince and Michael Jackson targeting to like our community because they didn't give a shit. Prince of course didn't give a shit. He this guy plays all of these instruments and he sings these random ass songs with titles from Who Shot John to you know whatever. It's like you don't get the shit but you feel it because he's going hard. He's making sense. And not every song has a message and a story behind it but 
simple. Changing that song, you know? And I think that that's one of the reasons why those people are as big of successes as they are because they have that mentality like, I don't give a shit. This is my life, this is my career, I'm gonna do what the hell I want to do with it.